In chapter four, we're focusing on the most important aspects of solving Newton's laws and motion problems, and that is the consideration of the preparation. So this problem is part of a whole suite of problems which asks you to do this. You're going to look at the situation and for each identify the forces acting on the object and draw a free body diagram of the object. That's what we're going to look to do. In this particular case, we're looking at the following. A box is being dragged across the floor at a constant speed by a rope pulling horizontally on it. Friction is not negligible. So we're going to do the force identification and then we're going to draw a free body diagram. And that is going to be the preparation for quantity. That is going to be like what you do for the pre preparation step for the quantitative problems that you'll see in chapter five. So here's our situation. There's a box on the floor and it's being pulled horizontally by a rope attached to it. Okay, now here's the thing. We're going to take this box and draw a circle around it. And so we're going to imagine this box in isolation from everything else in the world. What is it that touches the box? Well, there's two things. There's the floor and then there's the rope. Well, where the rope touches the box, it's going to exert a tension force. We know that that's true. Where the floor touches the box, there's two different types of forces we can have. There's a normal force and there's also a friction force and the box is sliding. So it's going to be a force of kinetic friction. Okay, so those are our forces. And those are our only contact forces because it's only the rope and the floor that touch the box. Those are our only contact forces. But there's one non-contact force. There's one long range force that acts and that's the weight force. And we're gonna have the weight force in pretty much every problem that we look at. So you can pretty much put this one in as a given whenever you start a problem. So here are four forces. Now we wanna take these forces and put them on a free body diagram. The rope is pulling horizontally. The friction force is acting horizontally. The weight force is acting vertically. The normal force acts vertically. So really, all of our forces are either gonna be on the y-axis or on the x-axis. So that's gonna simplify the setup. And let's think about the forces in the direction that they act. Well, the tension force, as I've drawn it, is clearly acting to the right. So here's our tension force, okay? The weight force acts straight downward. We know that that's true. But now let's look at the other forces, the kinetic friction force and the normal force. We know that the box is moving at a constant speed. And since the box is moving at a constant speed, we know the acceleration is equal to zero. And if the acceleration is equal to zero, we can also say this, the net force is equal to zero. And since the net force is equal to zero, I want to draw my diagram to represent that fact. What that means is this, there's no net vertical force, there's no net horizontal force. And so the upward normal force, I'm gonna draw the vector representing it to be exactly the same length as the weight force vector. There's also a friction force, and the friction force points opposite the tension force. I'll make this vector be the same length as the tension force vector. And so there's no net force along the horizontal axis. There's no net force in the vertical axis. The net force is equal to zero. Then let's assess what we've written. And basically this is just, in this case, just a chance to look back and see if what we've done makes sense. There's two things that touch the box. There's the rope and there's the floor. We have a normal force, a friction force, and a tension force. Those are the only three forces that we can have. So that makes sense. There's also the long range force of gravity. We've included this. We've also drawn the forces so that they act in the correct direction. The normal force is acting perpendicular to the surface. The friction force, which is a kinetic friction force, I see my assessment led me to notice that I had this written as a static. It's a kinetic friction force is opposite the motion. The tension force is in the direction of the rope. The weight force is directed straight downward. So all our forces are in the right direction. Finally, all our forces sum to a net force of zero. The normal force is equal in magnitude to the weight force. The friction force is equal in magnitude to the tension force. So the net force is equal to zero, exactly as we needed it to be. And so this situation matches our understanding of how these types of problems work.